My name is Johan. I am a Salesforce solution architect from Berlin. I help companies build their Salesforce solution to achieve their business goals. Security and trust is of uttermost important for all of us. Implementing Salesforce external objects is a dream for many of us. It's a great feature. It's easy to use, empty to implement. Get data from SAP, from other systems into Salesforce with clicks, not code. But did you know that just one wrongly exposed invoice or order, especially to community or partner users, can jeopardize your whole project? This is what I want to talk about today. Hidden is not secure. Five security issues regarding external objects would need to be addressed. Before we get started, a little bit of a background. Most of you have been reading the external objects documentation. Most, many of you have, must have done the trailhead. It's, isn't it intriguing? It's so easy to use. And at some point during the documentation, you have been reading about the limitations. No approval process, no attachments, no field history tracking, no merge fields, no schema builder, no validation rules. So far, so good. Record level security. Sharing. Who of you thought what that actually means during your project, during your implementation? What that means is that external objects can, as soon as the user has access to the object, only be public. There is no setting for private, there is no criteria based sharing rule, no role based, no ownership, no implicit sharing, nothing. Public or hidden. That's it. And keeping that in mind, I will show you five issues which need to be addressed because of that. But before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about the requirements for my example for the technical setup, and then about the five issues. Reports, global search, tab, APIs, external IDs, and lastly, possible solutions. In SAP, we have some orders which should be integrated to Salesforce. The orders are linked to our accounts. We have a partner community for our accounts. Accounts are private and shared with their partners. Partners see only orders for their accounts, for accounts which are shared with our partners. And we have a custom mobile app for our partners. So fair, so simple. The setup is straight from the trailhead. Related to accounts, we are in direct lookup relationships, the external orders. That's what our object is called. Related record list is added to account object. We have a tab, external orders for internal users, and global search is activated for external orders. Because, hey, isn't it amazing? We have a profile for our partner community users. Read access to the external order object, manage reports activated, and APIs enabled via connected app user agent flow, of course. Otherwise, the mobile app wouldn't work. So, so far, so good. This is exactly how Salesforce Trailhead tells us to do it. And this is how it looks like. Community. Doesn't it look beautiful? It, was, it took maybe 20 minutes to set it up like this. It's perfect. Ah, we still have the issue. We still have record level security. Hmm. Okay, we should be fine. Or So, tap. No, no tap about record access. Good, fine. Okay, the user can only see his or her account and the related orders. Fine. Are we really fine? Let's see. No, let's be honest. We are not fine. First one is really obvious. Partners adopt a report to access all external orders. It's super simple. I mean, they have to manage rep reports. And since it's public, they can access every single order. We can do something about it. We should be safe. We disable ADA managed reports for partner users, so they can only use the reports we provide them. Not optimal, but OK. Or we disable reports for external orders completely. OK. Disabled for internal users as well, but hey, we should be safe. Rather safe than sorry. We are talking about orders here. But now the next issue crops up. Global search. Oh, no. 
It's an amazing feature on the one hand. On the other hand, every user can search for every single order. Solution, we remove external orders from global search in community. But, okay, search is now disabled for external orders. Okay, but fine. Okay, we have report disabled, we have search disabled. We should be fine now, should we? Nope. As you remember, it was five issues. We only got two. The fun ones actually start now. That tab, oh, let me hide this one here. Did you know that you can access a tab even if it's hidden on the profile level with a little bit of URL hacking? You see the tab up here. So what I do is slash s slash record list slash order orders underscore x slash default and I access the tab with all the list views. Okay, <laughs> remove the list views and manage list view permission. Unfortunately, you cannot remove the recently viewed list view. Okay, we just delete the tab. Okay, the tab is deleted, problem solved. Tab is removed for internal users as well, but you know, better safe than sorry. Good, so we disabled reports, we deleted the tab, we disabled global search. Fine, okay, still two more to go. The API. This one requires quite some hacking effort. We had to have to extract the client ID from the custom mobile app, but since the custom mobile app, as we know, is installed on the customer's device, the customer can just root their device and with some hacking get the client ID. We consider the client ID not to be secure. And as soon as the user has the client ID, the user can just access the API and from there query whatever they want from the orders because as we discussed, it's public. Okay. Solution, we have to disable the API access. It's the only thing we can do. But custom mobile app is disabled as well. This is not good. And lastly, the last one is my favorite one. You would never. You just have to enter the IT ID. You see here? It's similar to the concept of the tabs, we can do the same as external IDs. We can just do a little bit of URL guessing. And since it's enough to have the external ID, you don't even need the Salesforce ID. In our case, the external ID is 1021, and the next order has which ID? 1022. And the next order, 1023. As soon as you have that, you get access to a weird classic page. Only thing you can do is here, okay, remove all the feeds related lists from the page layout. Done. We are safe now, mostly. So we disabled reporting, we disabled search, we deleted the tab, we disabled the API, removed the fields and related list from page layout. We are safe, I guess. Are we? Is this still Salesforce after all we have done? Is it still worth to have external objects? I mean, there is two more things we can actually do. Oh. By the way, I forgot to mention, I'm a no maze uh, expert. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Um, this is a half polemic, half serious talk about external objects. Maybe I, maybe I missed something here, so I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments, and if I'm wrong, I'm happy to correct myself. I wanna share my alternatives. The first one is we can build a sharing into the source. We build a sharing in the source system or in the sales, custom Salesforce Connect adapter, it's very high effort and it's not out of the box. We have to do something like name credentials, replicate sharing, stuff like that. Okay, doable, but is it still worth it? Next one, custom access via Apex. We can remove object level access and based on that, build custom sharing interface with Apex or with custom objects and then display the records via the custom component and controller. It's again, very high effort and nothing out of the box. And lastly, unfortunately, this is what I, what I know right now today recommend, don't use external objects. As intriguing as the idea of external objects sound, unless we have proper sharing, the use cases are really, really small. It's only if you are fine with exposing all records in the connection. And I think from the experience, 
example, Salesforce always uses this, invoices and orders from SAP, it's the opposite. This is the most crucial documents we have in our system, invoices. This has to be secured as much as possible. So therefore, there are many alternatives how to integrate the stage virtualization, bulk integration, ESP, um, Heroku Connect, so much more. Unless Salesforce improves the X1 objects massively, I would say don't use them. And that's it from my side. This is external objects. Hidden is not secure. Thank you very much. I had great fun preparing this presentation. It was great fun poking around. Uh, finally, all I learned about OAuth flows uh, paid off. I was able to pull off this hack. Um, let me know in the comments or contact me on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on Twitter or via email or on LinkedIn. I'm looking forward to your feedback and hey, maybe you have a solution which I didn't think of. It would be great and we will create a follow-up video. Thanks a lot and have a good day.